Welcome to this mind mapper tutorial from biggerplate.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how you can use hyperlinks in your mind maps to save and quickly access key websites, files, and folders from within your mind maps. So let's take a look. You can add hyperlinks to any topic in your mind map, and you can actually add multiple hyperlinks to any single topic. As always, there are several ways to achieve the same outcome. First of all, we can look up here into the main menu where you'll see this item here in the home menu. Just come along here to link. And if you scroll down there and hit hyperlink, it's going to pop open this dialog here. So here's an example for where we might say, let's save a link to biggerplate.com. Hit OK. And Mind Mapper now gives us this icon that tells us we've saved a hyperlink onto that topic. If we hit that, it's going to pop open our browser straight away on this link we've saved. And the same principle applies regardless of how you create that link. Other techniques for creating hyperlinks is to use the right hand menu in the software. So if we just come over to this side, scroll down this right hand side, we've got a few different right side menus, including this one here that says hyperlink. Once again, we could say add. Let's use www.biggerplate.com once again. And same outcome is achieved. We've added that hyperlink in. One final way we can add hyperlinks into our maps is using a shortcut key for those of you who like your shortcut keys, which is used to control H. And that's going to pop open that same dialog here, where, for example, we might save a link to the Mind Mapper website. So we can save websites right into our mind map here and then immediately jump off to them as soon as we need to from within the mind map. But of course, we can also link to files and folders using hyperlinks. So if we wanted to edit some of those links, we can say right click on the uh, icon, open up the hyperlinks menu once again. And let's say we're going to remove the link we put in before, but this time we're going to link to a local file instead. Now this is going to pop open a folder from within my computer and I can click this PDF. And once again, Mind Mapper is going to store that link in my software in my Mind Map. So if I click the link now, it's going to open up that PDF. So really handy way of saving key documents and information signposts in your Mind Maps. So right clicking gives you the option to edit those hyperlinks. We can do that with anyone we like. We can also add additional hyperlinks. We can add as many hyperlinks into any topic as we like. And then, of course, remove the ones we don't need. If we did want to remove any hyperlink, you've got two ways of doing that. We can either right click on it and say remove property and say remove the hyperlink. Alternatively, we can go to the right hand menu again. So let's go over to here open up this hyperlinks menu once again, and you see we've got an option here of saying delete. And then the final way that's not listed here on the map, but as you probably saw earlier, if we close this one down and right click, and then say hyperlinks. We've got the hyperlinks menu here, where again, we can just say to remove that link and it's gonna be taken out. So there it is, a very quick look at how you can add, edit, and remove hyperlinks in your mind maps to give you quick saved access to files, folders and websites from directly within your mind mapper maps. Hope you found this tutorial useful and will subscribe here on our YouTube channel. Don't forget for more resources to help you go further with mind mapping, just visit biggerplate.com.